You know, it is so important that all of us perfect our purpose in God. What do I mean by that? I mean that many of us go throughout life not doing what God has called and anointed us to do. All of us are called and God has given each of us a purpose, a reason to be, a reason to exist, but more than to exist, a means by which we can thrive and live with passion and joy. I want to tell you today that it is important that we find our purpose in God. And when we find our purpose in God, we perfect that purpose. Three things I want to share with you and then one bonus point. The first thing I want to suggest to you is this. Make sure that your plans are in line with God's purpose for your life. Many of us make plans and we just feel like the plans are for our good or the plans are for us to, to grow in our business or to make money or to get an education. But what does God want for your life? Have you stopped to think? Have you stopped to pray and ask, God, what do you want for my life? Have you asked godly people who you know, what do you think God wants for my life? Have you looked to the word of God to see what God's word says about the visions and the plans that you have for your own life? Make sure that the plans that you have are in line with God's purpose for your life. Second thing, many of us are the biggest obstacle to our own success, to our own achievement, and to our own forward progress. We need to get out of the way and allow God to have God's way in our lives. We need to move out of the way. Very often we're blocking what God is trying to do in our lives because we simply want to have it our way. Give up your way and get out of the way and allow God to have God's way in your life. You know what that means? That means you got to surrender. That means you got to be vulnerable in the presence of the Lord. You got to be willing to allow God to use you and move you and take you to where God wants you to be. I promise it's going to be better than where you are now. I promise that you will be happier and more fulfilled than you've ever been. But it'll only happen when you get out of the way and allow God to have God's way in your life then I want to suggest to you, if you do those things, if you live your purpose in God, you'll leave a lasting legacy. I've heard people say so often, I'm not leaving anything behind. When I die, I'm going to make sure I've spent everything. There's not going to be nothing left for anybody. That's not God's way. Everyone who comes to this earth should leave this earth better than they came. Everyone who comes to planet Earth ought to do something to make somebody's life better. That's a legacy. I've said many times, it matters to me what people say about me when I'm gone. It matters to me what people say about me when I finish my time on this Earth and I've gone to be with God. I want people to say that I helped somebody. I want people to say I made their lives better. I want people to say that I made our community better. I want people to say that I did my best to live a life that was an example for someone else. Make sure that you live your purpose because when you live in your purpose, you will leave a lasting legacy. The songwriter said only what you do for Christ will last. It's the truth. Live in your purpose and you will leave a lasting legacy. Now the bonus point. If you walk in your purpose, if you live that purpose that God has predestined, pre-designed and pre-planned for your life, God will keep all of God's promises to you, for you, and concerning you. God will keep God's promises concerning you if you live in your purpose, if you walk in your purpose. God promised that God would hold no gift from those who walk uprightly before him. God would keep that promise concerning you. God promised that if you give, he would give to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, 
and running over. That's God's promise. If you walk in your purpose, God will keep that promise to you. God promised through his son, Jesus Christ, that he would never leave you or forsake you. That's God's promise to you. And God will keep that promise. God promised that he was coming back again in the presence of his son, Jesus Christ, to claim his own. And that one day that all of us would be able to rise and meet him in the air. That's God's promise. And God will keep God's promises to you. Live your purpose. Walk in the purpose that God has for your life. And God will bless you abundantly above anything that you could ever ask or think.